What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's episode of Advanced BIM Analysis I'm going to be uh, talking about the topic of BIM progress tracking and I will be showing you a workflow in synergy with the Backcell Manager and the Backcell Viewer. Now in the background you can see uh, some of the many many of the possibilities uh, within this new uh, Backcell Cloud Browser. Now, this is going to be kind of the last step in the integrated BIM workflow, but don't worry, this is not the last video in uh, this Backcell Manager season. Uh, now, if you want to check out the previous videos that I have created uh, using the Backcell Manager, I'm going to link them up in the cards above. And then, of course, if you want to check out uh, the Backcell Manager, I'm going to have some links just in the description of this video. So you can check those out. So today I will demonstrate how to automate the process of progress monitoring with Backcell Manager Smart Solutions using available data in the BIM model and get all possible analysis instantly, eliminating labor-intensive manual and rough processes that are more or less really common. The workflow is pretty much simple and straightforward. The first step is to create and send BIM look-ahead plans, then adjust planned activities according to the actual situation on the construction site within the cloud-based Bexel viewer directly in the browser, and at the end, create progress entries using actual data from the site. After that, all analysis as earned value planned versus actual, cost and schedule performance indexes, monthly payment certificate, and so much more are automatically available. And just one more thing, a BIM look-ahead plans do not have only information about planned activities and elements to be executed, but also in information about cost and quantities of planned activities, which is an additional layer of information uh, very useful for project monitoring. In the Bexel sample project, you can find a schedule with entered weekly progress for a certain time period, and if we choose compare with the planned schedule, we can notice differences between planned and actual progress. We can click on the progress button, we can see a list of progress entries and notice what was the last entry and the last entered date. So I will just continue the process by explaining the whole workflow for the next time period on this actual schedule. Okay. Ready? Let's start. I've switched to the Schedule Animation tab where we will create a selection of elements for the desired time period. And in the Selection Set tab we can notice look ahead plans for the past periods. Now let's switch to Schedule Viewer and within the Schedule Animation options set a weekly time period because we want to create a weekly look ahead plan and hit OK. Now we can play the animation to go to the desired date or go to the calendar and choose the exact period, week 39. Right click on the root uh, task and choose the option select elements. Completed. Uh, planned elements for the completion in this time period are selected and we can create a selection set including these elements. Name it put it in the selection set folder and hit OK. Now we can isolate these elements, uh, check selection, their properties and within a gun chart if we filter tasks with elements and go to task editor we can check uh, costs, quantities, element QTO for selection and so on. In the next step, after creating a selection set, we should send the look ahead plan to the construction site. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the main workflow using BCF as an exchange file format, where uh, we just drag and drop created selection sets into BCF Manager and save the file. Of course, by exchange option, you can send look ahead selection sets to other stakeholders. But here, as I said, I'm going to be explaining the uh, cloud solution. So I will export this model to the Black Backsell viewer and jump on the construction site to check the actual progress directly in the browser. 
Just to mention, once you export the model to the Bexel viewer, all stakeholders can have access to the model and work within the browser with the link. So there is no need for additional exports in the further month or periods, let's say. Uh, before I show you the uh, next step, uh, just to introduce you to the Bexel Viewer, uh, it is an outline cloud-based solution where you can work with large-scale projects, monitor progress on site, set annotations and exchange issues, uh, work with selection sets, color code results, play simulations, set lighting and effects, and so much more. Really cool, right? Now let's continue. I will import look ahead plan plans that have been saved before as BCF file. After checking what was executed on site, I can adjust the look ahead plans with actual progress by deselecting or adding elements and save BCF as real situation of executed work. Let's save the BCF file, name it and click on the save button. Now let's go back to the Bexel manager and import actual progress. By double-clicking on the imported BCF file, we are activating the scene. Let's isolate the view and save the selection set for progress entry, name it and hit OK. And the final step is to create a progress entry for executed works. Let's click on the progress button and in the upper left corner click the new button, name it, set progress period and within the add drop-down list choose planned from selection sets. This means that the progress will be uh, entered only for planned activities on selected elements within this time period. Click on the update button and close the form and that's the whole workflow. Now we can pop out the gun chart, analyze the plan versus actual schedule, compare task reports, total cost, cumulative cost, activities, check line of balance, also export reports to Power BI to get an interactive dashboard for overall progress monitoring, check the planned and actual costs per task, earned value analysis, cost and schedule performance indexes, cost and schedule uh, variance, and other analysis. And finally, play planned versus actual simulation and visually compare two schedules, a baseline and actual uh, with progress. And that's it for today. So as you can notice uh, in all of my previous videos, reporting and analytics were part of lessons and of course in this one as well. Uh, but this topic will be covered uh, more in detail and I will introduce you to the kind of fresh new Bexel portfolio manager. So make sure to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And also, I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.